So, ever wondered how to make a 2D platformer player in Godot? Because that's actually quite easy to do. The first important thing is to make sure that your player node is a character body 2D. That's a built-in Godot physics node that can auto-react to collisions with the environment, but which movement is implemented by hand in a script, which makes it great for this kind of use case. Inside this node, like with any other physics body node in Godot, you need to have a collision shape child node that defines its physical shape. And then you can have additional stuff, like a visual, so here that's the animated sprite 2D node, and optionally your 2D camera directly hooked to have it auto-follow the player, as I discussed in this other quick tutorial. Once you have all that, all you have to do is add a script on your character body 2D node, for example one named player, and remember to enable this template option. This way, Godot will directly fill your script with some basic code that simply gives you a 2D platformer player behavior, meaning that if you run this scene as is, you'll already be able to use the arrow keys and the spacebar to move your character around and jump. Of course, you may want to change the speed or jump velocity values a bit, depending on your scene size. Don't forget though that those values are in pixels, so they should probably remain pretty big numbers. Then, if you want to use your own inputs instead of the default ones used by the template, you just have to open up your project settings, go to the Input Map tab, and create your various inputs in here with their associated hardware buttons or axes. If you're curious about all that, I made a tutorial on that specific topic. After defining your inputs, just go back to your script and replace the default names with your own. Last but not least, if you have a 2D character with some animations, like the one I have here, you'll probably want your movements to switch the animation, cause for now it feels a bit weird that when our hero is moving left and right, or jumping, it just glides with this idle animation. So to do that, you'll first need to ensure that for the visual, you're using an animated sprite 2D with a sprite frames resource that contains all your possible animations. Then, in your code, you'll be able to reference this animated sprite 2D node, and at specific points in your logic, use its play method to trigger a new animation on it using its name. And there you go! You see that in just a few minutes, we've set up a basic but pretty cool 2D platformer player controller that properly interacts with the environment, uses custom input actions, and even handles animation switches. Oh, and by the way, if you want to do a top-down movement instead of this side-scrolling platformer-like movement, you should take a look at this other tutorial I made. But in any case, I really hope you liked this quick tip video. Don't hesitate to react in the comments and subscribe to the channel to get more. And of course, a huge thank you to my Patreon and YouTube members for the support, and to you for watching. And as always, take care.